This is Mrs. Appia with Lesson 15, Solving Area Problems Using Scale Drawings. Student Outcomes for this lesson. Students solve area problems related to scale drawings and percent. Given a drawing with area A and scale factor K, the area of the corresponding scale drawing, which is A prime, is equal to K squared times A. Students find the percent one area is of the other. The essential question for this lesson. Given a drawing with scale factor K and area A, how do you find the area of the corresponding scale drawing? For each diagram, drawing 2 is a scale drawing of drawing 1. Complete the accompanying charts. For each drawing, identify the side lengths, determine the area, and compute the scale factor. Convert each scale factor into a fraction and a percent. Examine the results and write a conclusion relating scale factors to area. Let's begin by labeling the drawings. We know that drawing 1 for the next three examples is going to be the original, and drawing 2 is going to be the scale drawing. That's important to label because when you use the percent equation, you need to know which is the original and which is the scale drawing. So the side length in drawing 1 is 3 units, and the side length in drawing 2 is 9 units, and the scale factor, remember that we can use the equation quantity equals percent times whole. The whole is the original, which in this case is drawing 1. Multiply that by the percent. And then the quantity is the scale drawing, which is drawing 2. So the side length for drawing 2 is 9. And that will be equal to the percent, which is unknown, times the side length in drawing 1, which is 3. So we just solve for C, and that will be our percent. Divide by 3 and divide by 3. So we have C is equal to, well, 9 over 3 is equal to 3 over 1, or 3. So as our fraction, 3 over 1. That is also equal to 3. And then as a percent, 3 times 100 would be 300%. So again, we have the answer in percent form, in decimal form, and in fraction form. Then the area. We know that the area of a square is the side squared. So we have 3 times 3, or 9. For the drawing 2, side squared, we have 9 times 9, which is 81. So 9 square units for drawing 1, 81 square units for drawing 2. To calculate our scale factor, we have quantity equals percent times whole. Remember that the quantity is the area of the scale drawing. The area of the scale drawing, I'm going to refer to that as A prime. And per percent, I'm going to use C. And whole, remember, is the area of the original. And we'll use A for area of original. So we have the area of the scale drawing, which is 81. C and the area of the original, which is 9. Solve for C, divide by 9. 81 divided by 9. As a fraction, that would be 9 over 1. As a decimal, it would be 9. And as a percent, it would be 900. And that is our scale factor. Our scale factor for this right here is 3. And our quotient of areas, the quotient of areas is right here, and that is 9. For our next drawing, we have a radius in drawing 1 of 4, and a radius in drawing 2 of 8. The scale factor quantity equals percent times whole. Remember that the original is drawing 1, 
and the scale drawing is drawing two. And the original is the whole. And the scale drawing is the quantity. So our quantity is drawing two, which is eight. Our percent is unknown, and our whole is four. Divide by four, divide by four. C is equal to two over one. We also need to write that as a decimal, which is two, and as a percent, which is 200%. Again, that is our scale factor. Next, we're going to calculate the quotient of areas. Our area for the first circle. We know that area is equal to pi r squared, and we know that our radius is equal to four. So that's going to give us an area of 16 pi square units. And we'll keep pi in the answer, answer in terms of pi. Then for drawing two, we have pi r squared. And that's going to equal pi times eight squared. So we have 64 pi square units. Then we want the scale factor that's going to compare the areas. So we have quantity equals percent times whole. Whole is the area of the original. The area of the original is 16 pi square units. C, which is the percent, is what we're looking for. That's our scale factor. The quantity is the area of the scale drawing which is 64 pi square units. To solve for C, we divide by 16 pi. 16 pi divided by 16 pi is 1, leaving us with C. Pi divided by pi is 1. 64 divided by 16 is equal to 4. As a fraction, our answer is 4 over 1. As a decimal, 4 and as a percent, 400 percent. So our scale factor was equal to 2, and our quotient of the areas is equal to 4. The length of each side in drawing 1 is 12 units, and the length in each side in drawing 2 is 6 units. So I want you to notice in this problem that drawing two is half the length. And in this picture, our radius was twice the length. And in our first picture, this was three times the length. So just something to pay attention to. All right, so we have our original and our scale drawing. And our original is going to be our whole, and our scale drawing is going to be the quantity. The side length in drawing 1 is 12, in drawing 2 is 6. The scale factor, quantity equals percent times whole, where the percent will be our scale factor. Our quantity is drawing 2, which is 6. C for percent and for our whole, 12. Divide by 12, divide by 12. C is equal to, 6 divided by 12 is 0.5. So our answers, 0.5 as a decimal, 1 half as a fraction, and 50% as a percent. And that is our scale factor. Now does that make sense? Is 6 50% of 12? Yes, it is. It is half of 12. So I'm wondering, will the area of drawing 2 be 50% the area of drawing 1? Let's check. The area for drawing 1 is 12 times 12, which is 144 square units. The area for drawing 2 is 6 times 6, which is 36 square units. So is 36 50% of 100, 
44. No, it is not. All right, let's do the scale factor for the areas now. Quantity equals percent times whole. The quantity is the area of the scale drawing, which is 36. The percent, which is the scale factor, is what we're looking for. And the whole is the area of the original figure. Solve by dividing by 144. So C is equal to 0.25 as a fraction, 1 fourth, and as a percent, 25%. So although the side length is 50% of the original, the area is 25% the area of the original. Our scale factor is 1 half, and the quotient of the areas is 1 fourth. So now let's look at a conclusion for these three problems that we've done. The quotient of the areas is equal to the square of the scale factor. So if you take 1 half and you multiply by itself, you've squared it. And 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. And that is the quotient of the areas. In this example, The quotient of the areas is equal to the square of the scale factor. So the scale factor is 2. And if you square the scale factor, you get the quotient of the areas. In the first problem, the quotient of the areas is equal to the square of the scale factor. So the scale factor is 3. Then we square it. That would be 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 is 9, which is the quotient of the areas. So we remember that we call the scale factor k. And k squared is going to equal the quotient of the areas. Now, what is the quotient of the areas? The quotient is of the areas compares the area of the original and the scale drawing. What percent of the area of the original figure is the area of the scale drawing. You can answer that question by simply squaring the scale factor. Again, if we want to know what percent of the original area is compared to the scale drawing. All you have to do is square the scale factor. We're at example one. What percent of the area of the large square is the area of the small square? Is it necessary to find the area of each drawing to determine the ratio of areas of the scale drawing to the original drawing if the scale factor is known? No. Once the scale factor of the corresponding sides is determined, the ratio of the area of the scale drawing to the original drawing is the square of the scale factor. Why is the scale factor often given as a percent or asked for as a percent, but the area relationship is calculated as a fraction? Why can't a percent be used for this calculation? A scale factor is given or calculated as a percent allows us to see if the scale drawing is an enlargement or a reduction of the original drawing. However, in order to use the percent in a calculation, it must be converted to an equivalent decimal or fraction form. How is this relationship useful? If none of the side lengths are provided, but instead a scale factor is provided, the relationship between the areas can be determined without needing to find the actual area of the drawing. For instance, if only the scale factor and the area of the original drawing are provided, the area of the scale drawing can be determined. Similarly, if only the scale factor and the area of the scale drawing are given, the area of the original drawing can be found. Why do you think this relationship exists? If the area is determined by the product of two linear measurements and each measurement is changed by a factor of k, then it stands to reason that the area will increase by a factor of k times k, which is k squared.
So let's go ahead and do example one. What percent of the area of the large square is the area of the small square? This question is asking what is the quotient of the two areas, as we've just done in three problems. What you learned in those three problems were that you can take the scale factor and you can square it. So we need to determine the scale factor. Remember that the scale factor can be figured in two ways. It is the quantity over the whole. And we saw that in those previous problems, it's the quantity over the whole. It's the quantity over the whole. Example one, what percent of the area of the large square is the area of the small square? The question is asking us to find the scale factor for the small to the large. So that has a one for the small and five for the large. So our scale factor, we'll call that K, is one fifth. Then we learned that with the area of small to large, which is the quotient. Remember the area of the small to the large is the quotient. And that is going to be k squared, or one-fifth squared. So one-fifth times one-fifth is equal to one-twenty-fifth is the fraction. You can use your fraction or your second FD key to convert that to a decimal or you can multiply it by 4. And that's going to give you 4 over 100, and 4 hundredths is equal to 4%. What that means is the area of the small figure is 4% the area of the larger figure. Notice that we didn't calculate the area for the small or the area for the large. We just determined what the scale factor was. The scale factor compares the side lengths, one unit and five units. Then you square that number, and that scale factor squared is the relationship. It is the percent comparing the large square to the small square. And we'll go to the summary on page 127. On page 127, we learned two major ideas. Given a drawing with area A and scale factor K, the area of the corresponding scale drawing, which is A prime, is equal to K squared times A. So remember that the A is the area of the original. K is the scale factor used to make the scale drawing from the original. And A prime is the area of the scale drawing. Then the second part, what percent of the area of the original is the area of the scale drawing? And this was the whole purpose of doing the activity. In other words, what percent of the original is the scale drawing? There were two methods. One method is to use the percent equation. Remember to look for the keywords like is and of. And that's going to help you determine the scale drawing area is the quantity and the original area is the whole. So you can solve the problem in that way. If you do, remember to convert C to a percent. The second method is a shortcut where you square the scale factor and convert it to a percent.